Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be trying something new. I need something called browning, which is also known as burnt sugar. So I'm going to try to make it um, here at home because I couldn't find it in the stores anywhere. So let's get started. I have um, six tablespoons of brown sugar. I have a half a cup of hot water and I have a little whisk and my pot here so let's go ahead and get that heated and this is a Corningware pot so it's glass it's you know it holds the heat really well so I have to be very careful because this is after all going to be burnt sugar but I don't want it to burn to the point where I can't use it so I'll let the, the pan get heated and then I'm going to Reduce the heat to medium and I'm going to go ahead and add the sugar because the idea is for the sugar to just start melting on its own and then we have to, you know, just pay attention. So I'm going to just zoom in here a little bit. And this process will take a little while so once I start to see some progress I'll come back to show you guys. Okay guys, I'm just going to show you. See the sugar is nice and liquid there in the middle, but the exterior part is still solid. Um, I think the best thing to do is just let it do its thing until it gets, um, all of it gets liquefied. Um, because as I was stirring it earlier on, it, the sugar granules were clumping together. Let it sit on a very low temperature um, till it melts at its own pace. And then once everything is liquefied or almost all liquefied, then I'll start to stir it. See the sides are really sticky, so I'm going to try and maybe use a spoon to get that off if I can. It's not really coming off that easily. Push it down in there. Yeah, you have to be really careful with this, guys, because it seems like it's not very forgiving at this, at this phase of it. And I think at this point I'm going to put it right back to the lowest setting. I had lowered it even lower than that, so now I'm going to put it right back, just so maybe I, it can heat enough to where I get the sides off of there. It's like hard candy, pretty much. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm still stirring, but I really want to control this thing getting too burnt. So what I've been doing is just um, letting it sit for short periods undisturbed, just really a few seconds just to let it cook and then stir it. And then in between I've been using my little spoon just to scrape the edges to see, you know, whatever I can get down into the rest of it from the sides. And if you're like me, who was really curious how it was tasting, um, be super careful. It's really, really hot, guys. This can like really burn you. So best not to have pets or small kids around um, to avoid any accidents. So I just want to show you quickly how dark it's getting. I really want it like black. So. Um, I'm just, you know, trying to get it to that color without um, overdoing it too quickly. And again, in between, I'm just letting it sit for a few seconds. Take my spoon and just scrape the edges so that I might get anything, any excess that's there. Stir that in and get that off of there, like so. And just be careful. It's going really fast, guys, at this point. It took a while to get to this point, but as you can see, it's burnt sugar, so therefore all the steam. All right. Okay, guys, let me show you how dark it's gotten. Really, really dark. I still want it even darker than that, but um, what I'm going to do is it's really going fast now, so I'm going to turn the heat down to about um, just lower than the lowest setting. 
This is the part where we add the water, so be super careful because it's gonna steam even more. So just add a small amount at a time. Okay, get that stirred in. Pour some more. harder to work with and there's more water depending on the size of the pot but I just have to be super careful to get that stirred in well and of course you're using hot water because if you don't want to add a water that's too cool because then it'll kind of counteract what you're trying to do here which is um, melt the sugar and then burn it so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the last bit in there so it can do what it needs to do and keep stirring super careful guys because as I said this is super super hot and we don't want to injure ourselves so I think I'm gonna just turn the stove off Stir it for a little bit longer and then since it's really bitter, which most times it is. I'm adding just a packet of vanilla sugar just to try to counteract that. And vanilla sugar is very fine, um, so it melts really, really easily. So hopefully this isn't going to ruin it, but just to give it a little bit of, or to, to cut a little bit of the, the bitterness. Okay. I think that's good. My stove is already turned off. I decided I'm going to use a funnel um, to pour it into this container because I don't want to take any chances. It's really, really hot. So um, let's just go ahead and do that and hope for the best. Okay. Okay guys, the browning syrup has cooled down. So I'm just gonna show you what it's like. See how dark it is? It's really, really, really dark, which is what I wanted. Um, and as far as the consistency of it, it's um, quite runny. Um, I was hoping it would be a little bit thicker, but for a first time trying, I think it's a good job. I may limit the amount of liquid next time just because, I, again, I didn't want to let it continue cooking and, and getting even more bitter than it was. So um, we'll see how it works in my recipes. Give it a try. Comment in the comment section um, with your tips and your experiences with making burnt sugar or browning. Thanks for watching, guys.